minus 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, ignition, engine full power, and lift off of Starlink 6-4. Go Starlink, go Falcon. Falcon 9, position down there. Stage 1, chamber pressure normal. At T plus 30 seconds, Falcon 9 has successfully lifted off from Space Launch Complex 40 from Cape Canaveral, Florida at 5.56 a.m. Eastern Time. The next major milestone coming up is Max Q, which is when the vehicle experiences the greatest amount of external stresses as it ascends through the Earth's atmosphere. Falcon 9 is supersonic. And Falcon 9 is now traveling supersonic, meaning it is going faster than the speed of sound. Max Q. We are about one minute away from a series of events being MECO, stage separation, SCS-1, and fairing separation. MECO stands for main engine cutoff, which is when all nine Merlin engines will shut down in preparation for stage separation. During stage separation, pneumatic pushers will separate the first and second stages, and the first stage will begin its journey back to Earth, while the second stage will light its Merlin and vacuum... And chilling in. ...light its Merlin vacuum engine, marking second, marking second engine start one, to propel our Starlink satellites to their planned orbits. And shortly after, the fairing halves will separate and fall away, fall away from the vehicle to later be recovered. And let's keep an eye out for these events happening in pretty quick succession, in about 20 seconds. Miko. Stage separation confirmed. And that condition. And as you just saw and heard over the nets, we had successful Miko stage separation and SCS-1. We're now coming up on fairing separation from the second stage in a few seconds. Fairing separation confirmed. And we will be attempting to recover both fairing halves using our recovery vessel, Bob. Both of the fairing halves that supported today's mission are flight proven, with one half flying for its sixth time and the other flying for its ninth. And currently, the first stage is on its way back to Earth towards our drone ship, just read the instructions. And the MVAC engine attached to the second stage is continuing its burn, which will last for another several minutes. Both stages continue on nominal trajectories. And as you just heard, stage one and stage two are both following nominal trajectories and performing as expected.
And as you can see on your screen, we have two out of Falcon's four grid fins in view on the left, and they measure four feet by five feet and help us guide the booster to its landing site by actively changing the vehicle's center of pressure. And as I mentioned earlier, today's Starlink mission marks SpaceX's 37th mission just this year and 236th mission overall. And coming up next in the mission is entry burn on the first stage, which is the first of two burns it will go through in preparation for landing. Designed and manufactured by SpaceX, Starlink is the world's largest satellite internet constellation. And Starlink satellites operate in low Earth orbit, which enables the delivery of high speed, low latency internet to people living in remote and rural locations around the globe. And Starlink is currently live in 71 markets and countries around the world. Stage one entry burn startup. Stage one FTS is saved. And there's the call out for stage one entry burn. And stage one, which we also call the booster, has ignited engines one, five, and nine to slow it down for atmospheric re entry. Stage one entry burn shut down. And you just heard the call out that the stage entry burn. Stage two FTS is saved that the entry burn on the first stage has completed. And the next major milestone coming up will be, be the beginning of our stage one landing burn, where a single Merlin engine is lit up to scrub Falcon's last bit of velocity before touching down. And we can expect that last landing burn to begin stage about a minute from now. Nominal. Stage one transonic. And you just heard the call out that the first stage is now transonic, meaning it is traveling nearly the speed of sound. Stage one landing burn. And there's confirmation that the stage one landing burn has started in preparation for touchdown on our drone ship. Just read the instructions. Stage two, terminal guidance. Stage one landing leg deploy. Stage one landing confirmed. And this Falcon 9 first stage has now successfully launched and landed for the third time. And we're now coming up on second engine cutoff. Seco.